Hello everyone, I am Deep from Coding Brothers. Today we will be discussing problem A from Code Forces round 541. For detailed problem statement, follow the link in the description. So we are given with two boxes. Okay. The second box is placed on top of the first box. And the second box and the first box, both of them share the same left boundary. That means they are left aligned. Okay. And uh, we know the width of these two boxes W1, W2. We know the height. So this one is H2 and this one is H1. Okay. And what we are also given with is that W2 is always less than or equals to W1. That means the width of the second box which is placed on top of the first box is always going to be less than or equal to the width of the first box. Okay. So this is what we are given with. Now what they need you to find is the number of cells that will be neighbors to this structure. Okay. So what are the cells that are going to be neighbors to this structure is any cell say like this cell. This cell is going to be a neighbor to this structure. Why? Because this cell and this structure, they are sharing a same edge, right? Now, similarly, uh, if you have a cell here, this is also a neighbor. Why? Because this cell and this structure are sharing a same corner. Okay. So they have defined the neighbor as a cell which shares a common edge or even a corner. Okay. So now you need to tell the count of these. Okay. So how many cells are neighbors to this structure that you need to tell them. So how to find that? So let us look into an example first. So let us say that I have a box of 2 cross 2. Then I have a box of say like 1 cross 2. Say this is 2 cross 2 and this is 1 cross 2. So how many neighboring cells will this structure have? First of all, this W1 or which is 2, I will have those many neighboring cells. Similarly, I will have W2 which is equals to 1, those many neighboring cells as well, right? Now, this H2, right? And this H1, I will have these neighboring cells as well. So, this is 2 and this is also 2, okay? I will have that. Now similarly, I will have this H2, 2 here and this H1, 2 here as well because those all will also be neighboring, correct? Now here also I will get some neighboring cells, but how many neighboring cells will I get here? Here we will get W1 minus W2 neighboring cells. Why? Because the difference will give me the neighboring cells which I will be getting here, which will be sharing a common side or corner. Okay. So W1 minus W2 will be considered here. Now what we are left with is we will have this corner as a neighboring cell, this corner as a neighboring cell, right? Now this corner and this corner. As we have already considered this place to be W1 minus W2, so we are not taking that. So if we generalize this, what is going to be the answer? The answer is going to be you are taking H1 and H2 twice, right? So it is 2 into H1 plus H2, right? Then you are taking W1 plus W2 once, okay? Then you have four cells which are for these four corners, right? Then finally you have this W1 minus W2. Okay, this part will take care of the cells which are going to be here. So if we look into this, what it is going to be for this case, what we were having W1 as, we were having W1 as 2 and what we were having W2 as 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So here we are getting one cell which is going to be extra and how it is going to be? First of all, you will be getting two cells, these two you will be getting directly from here, right? So you got this whole two, which will be covering this part. Then this part was already covered. Then what are you going to be left with? 
you will be left with only the corner part right if we look more into this clearly then you had a 1 cross 2 like this then you had a 2 cross 2 like this now all the cells are going to be these these two are your neighboring cells right which were already taken care by this h2 now these all were also neighboring cells these were taken care by h1 but you were left with this right this will also be a neighboring cell as we said because this will share a corner okay so w1 minus w2 whatever the value is was 1 so it gives you the answer for that corner as well so this was all about this problem so the implementation is quite straightforward you just need to print this value okay for implementation details you can check the link in the description happy coding